now it's time for everyone's favorite socially distant dating show, Remotely Attractive. And now here's your host, Chuck Chessery. Yeah, so the way I figure it is if I swipe right like 10,000 times, someone's bound to hit me back, right? So like I'm on 9,000 right now. And, oh, gotta go. Hi, and uh, welcome to another episode of Remotely Attractive, where we take ordinary people and set them up with the love of their lives. As usual, I'm joined by my wingman, Bob. So, Bob, can you let the audience know what today's lucky couple will receive? They'll get a lovely full course to-go meal from the lovely Formosa Cafe, which they'll enjoy six feet apart on this lovely park bench. Uh, thanks, Bob. Let's just get to our first contestant, uh, who's Olivia. Um, hello, Olivia. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, yes, Olivia, we can. Hey, c can you do us a favor? Uh, can you tilt your camera so we can see you better? Oh, actually, it's Olive. I'm sorry, what? My name is actually Olive, n not Olivia. Okay, Olive, can you tilt your camera so we can see you, please? Oh. <laughs> okay, great. So, why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about you and um, what makes you remotely attractive? Uh, well, uh, I'm a veterinary tech. Okay, you know what, we're just gonna go ahead and get to the next contestant, which is Virginia. Uh, uh, hello, Virginia. Uh, am I am I saying that right? Is that is that correct? What? My yeah yeah yeah. You're saying right. Okay, great. Listen, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about you and what makes you remotely attractive? Well, I stand up for what I believe in. Oh God. What, uh, what is that exactly? I, I my rights. Okay, I, we're, we're just right. gonna cut to the next contestant, which is Andrea. And and look. Just to save us time, I'm just going to tell everybody about her, okay? Uh, Andrea is a sales representative at Allied Bank. Hey, Chuck. Actually, it's Drea, but my friends call me Dre. I'm so excited to be here. I mean, it's been a minute since I've been in a relationship, so. Okay, you know what, Terrain? We've already told everyone about you. So we're just going to cut to our first remotely attractive bad boy. Okay. Actually, you can call me Andrea, Chuck. Okay, let's just meet Carl, all right? All right, everyone. Me, Carl. Greetings, Chuck. Hey, Carl. So, hey, I just want you to know uh, the ladies have already told us a little bit about themselves. Huh? So, okay, so can you share with us what makes you the remotely attractive man that they're going to want to spend the rest of their lives with? Or, or at least a social distancing hour in a park? Um, so I'm, I'm super smart and, um, I have my own business creating, uh, d well, designing instruction for custom Legos. Hey. Hey. And uh, but one more thing. I really like cold beer and hot dogs and, um, uh, I'm really big on family. Oh, that's so sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really? Oh. Great. Okay. Okay. All right. So, ladies, now comes the moment of truth. Uh, if you are going to choose Carl as your remotely attractive man, please take a step forward. Oh, man, that's messed up. <laughs> okay. Listen, Carl. It's 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 okay. See, now the ball is in your court. Okay, so you get to pick one of these lovely ladies to be your remotely attractive love. Really? Cool. Uh, no, 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 wait a minute, excuse me? Yeah. Oh no, you said we had a chance to meet someone remotely attractive. Mm -hmm. This guy ain't even remotely acceptable. Mm -mm. Yeah, I mean, I, I've got standards. Whoa, 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 ladies. Look, we've never had this happen in the history of the show. Really? Yes, I, you know, okay, you know what? I, I, I think I have a way of getting us out of this. I'm gonna leave you with Bob and uh, I, I'm just gonna take a quick break. So give me two minutes, two seconds. 
you want to be the next contestant on the next episode of Remotely Attractive, just send a headshot and five bucks to the address on screen. Cash only, no checks, please. Thanks, Bob. Okay, folks, so our Remotely Attractive ladies have some pretty high standards. So they want a stallion that's, well, just not Carl. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna introduce Neil. Hey ladies. Hey, 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 wait a minute. I thought this show was called Remotely Attractive. This guy is clearly attractive. I can't Carl, compete with this. Carl, look, beauty's only skin deep, right? So why don't we just wait and find out what the ladies think of Neil after they learn a little bit more about him, okay? Neil. Okay. Can you tell us a little bit more about yourself? Well, I'm a self-employed contractor. I like to work out. I like to travel. Well, I did like to travel. But you know, I, I find yoga and meditation, it, it really helps me get through all this, you know? I do yoga. So do I. Mm. I need a contractor. Huh. Wait, wait a second. I got dry rod in my bathroom. Oh, okay. Now, as you know, roses are in short supply today. So here at the RA, we we bestow, we allow our contestants to bestow toilet paper as a symbol of their love for the person who's wiped away the loneliness from their hearts. So Neil. Who has remotely stolen your heart today? Hmm. I don't know. Olive's kind of cute. I'm in a cycling olive. What? No. What are you doing with my toilet paper? Did you finish pulling those weeds? You're as lazy as your father. Wait a minute. Is that your mother? I'm sorry, guys. I, I gotta go. My oh. God. Oh, sorry, ladies. But that was a last minute entry. So, uh, hey, Bob, did he pay his five bucks? All right, you know what? Never fear. Courageous Carl is still here. You know, this is all jacked up. Sorry, I'm out of here. Wow, that, uh, that was awkward, right? But you, you know what? There are still two lovely ladies left. And, and you know what, Carl? We're just gonna let you go ahead and choose. Okay, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. No. It, Virginia, wait. what are you doing? I'm standing up, Chuck. I'm standing up for Carl. Wait, okay. wait, wait, a, wait a minute. What if I don't want her to step forward, Chuck? <sighs> what? Wait, wait a minute. Wait, what? What What do you say? I'm not good enough for you, Carl, because I, I don't have some slow cut dress or some high heels? What? So what, you, you think you can just blow me off? I, I'm not saying that. It's just... Okay, so what are you just saying, Carl? Hello? I'm still here. People! Hi, People! Who are you talking to, Carl? Uh, no one, dear. Let me see that. No. no. Who are all these women? You know what? Hell, just, just roll the credits. Uh, join us next time for another exciting episode of Remotely Attractive. Well, oh, gee, that was so much fun. Not? Oh well. Hey, you want a drink? Sure. Great. Here. Thank you. Yeah, you just to be careful, okay? Okay. I know a great chap room, a big of bands who just love Norwegian death metal. Some cute guys have got to be on that site for sure. Okay, great. Fantastic.